Welcome everybody, my name is Rob Coolish, joined by two men's swimmers, um, Robbie Sun, freshman, and then a junior captain, Joe Hewitt. Uh, guys, thanks for the time, I really appreciate it. I know, um, you know we're heading towards postseason, you know, probably midterms and all sorts of things, so I know you guys are busy, but thanks for the time. Um, men's swimming team, you guys are ranked uh, pretty high, I'm not sure the exact number right now, I think it was sixth the last time I checked. Um, Joe, you've now you know been here for three years or two and a half years, and I mean you know what's what's going on. You kind of have a good you know pulse of the team. How do you feel you guys are doing so far, and and, and where's the team at? I think we're doing really really well so far. Um, you know we we have a tough schedule, a tough dual meet schedule. The competition we face is really good, and that only challenges us to swim faster. And I think the team has responded really well to the the challenges that we faced. You know, we've won a lot of big races in dual meets, even if we didn't come out on top in the final score. And it's good to see everybody, you know, giving that extra effort to put some, some fast times during the season. Um, it's such a tough sport to probably, you know, to the casual fan to really, I guess, understand. And I'm still learning a lot about it. I mean, you guys are not performing at your highest level because you're beaten down. You guys are training really, really hard. Does that get frustrating for you guys? Um, Joe, if you want to take it, and then we'll, we'll go to Robbie. But does that get frustrating for you guys, you know, maybe being like, oh, we're probably better than that team, but we might not have come out on top? Uh, absolutely. I mean, you never want to, you don't want to accuse anybody of, you know, coming into a meet rested or anything. And most teams will swim and train straight through. But, you know, we know the work that we put in um, on train trip. You know, we have two weeks straight at doubles. It does wear you down, and you can't really expect to have your best times after that. Um, Robbie, freshman, you know, you had a remarkable season. I mean, you know, done a fantastic job. ECAC's duels. You know, you've been Empire Eight Swimmer of the Week. Um, you know, I mean, you're right there in the mix. If you're not already, definitely qualified for NCAA's. Right. What's has it been a big adjustment coming from high school to college as a swimmer, or has it just been pretty pretty smooth? Well, in high school, uh, it was more about the individual how uh, you swim, but now in college, it's more about uh, swimming for the team, contributing, doing your best. You know. Some days you might not feel well at a dual meet, but you know you can't be selfish and say, "Oh, I'm not going to try today." You have to swim your best, score points, go for the win. Um, has the the workload, the school, you know, the, the classes and the work school wise, has that been a challenge? With I know, I mean, you guys are always always swimming, you're always lifting. I mean, you know, the studying has that been a big a big uh, adjustment or is it just something you're working through, working hard and things are going well? Well, uh, first semester was a challenge but uh, made it through it and had a, I'd say it was a pretty successful first semester. I'm looking forward to a good second semester too. It's been good. Now, Transition's been nice. Sorry to cut you off. Um, Empire Eights are coming up in about two weeks, um, give or take. What are your personal goals, you know, for your first conference championship um, you know, maybe we can talk about the NCAA's in a, in a, in a couple of weeks or so. But what are your personal goals? You know, going into a meet like the Empire Eights. Well, like Joe said, uh, our entire team's train hard and uh, really believe in what the coaches are doing. So hopefully, I'll swim to my best, uh, score a lot of points, win the eights, and then uh, go on nationals. You know, uh, individual performance. Uh, I, I I don't really care about that as much as how the team does. Um, so obviously I think it's safe to say the team wants to win. Um, Joe, how do you feel you're doing? Um, you know, what's in store for you? How, how are you swimming right now? Um, I'm swimming kind of about as, as fast or faster than last year at this time, so that's a positive thing. Um, I'm a kind of swimmer, like Louise said, you know, we always go a lot faster on taper. You know, you get your fast suits on, you get the shave, you're rested, you're ready to go, and I know that I'm going to go significantly faster than I've been going, and hopefully faster than I've gone before in my life, best times, so it should be good. Um, well, guys, thanks for the time. Um, as I said before, I know you guys are busy, um, so again, thanks for, for, for doing this. Um, we'll do it again next week, hopefully, and uh, you know, then recap the Empire Eights, and before you know it, uh, it'll be late March, and you guys will be you know, hoping for another top 10 high finish at, at National, I know. Right. Um, but again, thanks a lot. I can't say, maybe if I said thank you again, <laughs> yeah. it set some sort of record. Of course. But um, fans, thanks for tuning in, and until uh, next time.